Hey guys, I'm Anthony Louie and welcome to my latest video. So today I'm doing a little bit of a vlog today and basically it's I'm just gonna be talking about three specific things and they're all kind of linked and they're all concerning YouTube, but you can apply them to real life I suppose as as well, especially with the uh, motivation section but I'm essentially named this something along the lines of motivation haters and inspirations now the reason I say it along the lines of it is sometimes I create titles like when I'm filming a video but then when I come to upload it I just change my mind but anyway there's just motivation haters and inspirations that I really want to talk about and I did mean inspiration not aspiration now I'm just gonna go straight into this inspirations so if you've been following my, vid my videos for a long time you might know who inspired me to start YouTube and it's also in the sort of information on my actual channel but essentially the YouTuber KSI inspired me to start YouTube pretty much and, and the reason that was is essentially about four years ago I was sat in my ICT lesson at, at school and you know I was a little bit bored probably shouldn't have been doing this but I just went on YouTube and I was a little bit bored you know so I was just scrolling down the sort of the front page of YouTube seeing what was in the different sections you know comedy gaming music that sort of thing and I came across the gaming section and it came with a little video and it was titled in uh, impossible quiz and you know I played the impossible quiz quite a lot of times especially when you first sort of play it you're like what the fuck is this like you have no idea what any of the answers are and because it's just so like weird and well it's called the impossible quiz and I just thought you know what I'll watch this it seems interesting let's, let's see hopefully these people haven't played it before it might be quite funny and I clicked on it and I didn't know that really know who KSI was at the time it was he, he was getting he was, had quite a lot of subscribers but he, I just didn't really watch YouTube that much and I wasn't I didn't even have an account on YouTube at this point so I just went on this you know went on KSI had a look watch this video and oh my god I was literally crying with laughter in about 10 minutes like in the middle of a lesson like I was trying not to laugh so much and I just couldn't help I just couldn't help myself like I, they kept getting dirty looks off the teacher and just kept, <laughs> it was so funny but honestly I love that video so much just KSI and obviously his brother Deji just absolutely hilarious with it and just KSI the way KSI reacted to stuff is just absolutely it's just hilarious and to be honest I still find him hilarious a lot of people say oh he's changed a bit he's he's not as funny as he used to be well for a start he grew up and another thing he's still funny in my opinion call me a fanboy if you want but that's just my opinion and anyway it what didn't occur to me until about one and a half years after that that I should could start a channel myself I've been thinking about it for a couple of weeks before I started and I'd also been watching YouTube's like PewDiePie and Black Note Comedy and that sort of thing and you know I, I wasn't really sure what direction to take and due to the fact that I couldn't afford a capture card or an Elgato or anything to sort of record games from whether it be for my PS3 or PC or anything like that I was I was quite new to it so I thought you know what I'm just gonna start vlogging try and get a channel going we'll see where I end up and it was actually a mate of mine that came up with the name that nerd Louie. I just literally said I'm thinking about starting a YouTube channel and I'm not sure what to call it I just wanted it to be something to do with being a nerd and being, uh, being called Louie and then they just suggested that nerd Louie and I was like yeah we'll go with that we'll go with that in fact I actually originally nearly went with Louis the nerd but it, it was a bit you know I don't know I just didn't like it. I did prefer that in Louis so thanks to the person that suggested that but anyway then I started my channel and yeah that's, here I am today t nearly two years down the line with 62 subscribers like I'm happy with that number obviously it's just May yeah, I'll talk about it in a little bit later in the video, but sometimes it gets me a bit down. Anyway, the next section is just hate is called haters, and I'm just gonna be talking about haters in general. Now, I haven't really experienced a lot of hate because my channel's only like really small, so I don't I haven't had that much. I had a little bit, but only on certain videos, and you know, I can understand as to what those people's beliefs were and what I talked about in the video, and it was kind of like, yeah, I kind of set myself up for that one. But I don't receive hate like daily, like a lot of YouTubers just receive hate, especially in the comment section. And 
big YouTube bros, you know, the ones that earn quite a lot of money, you know, the KSI, PewDiePie, Smosh, all these kind of things, they all get loads of hate. I sometimes I just read the comments and I just see everyone just moaning and moaning and moaning about their money whores or they don't care about their fans or then then KSI gets a lot of racist ones and YouTubers in general just get told to die a lot. I don't really know what people have against them specifically, but you know, each to your own. But yeah, I don't think any any YouTuber, well, most YouTubers don't deserve hate unless they've done something obviously wrong, <coughs> some pepper, then um, yeah, if they've not done anything wrong, they don't deserve hate. Maybe you disagree with their opinion in in a video, yeah, that's fine, just comment, just say you disagree, and just be polite about it, there's no need to call them a cunt or a nigger or a bastard or tell them to die, there's just no need for that. And if you actually, I mean, I, did, I was unaware, well, I was sort of aware, but I was mostly unaware how hard YouTubers actually were, like the big ones, because, I mean, I do a video a day, I'm doing a video a day at the moment, and it, you know, it, it takes a little bit of time, it takes a couple of hours out of my day, but on the grand scheme of things, it's not actually that like long and it doesn't take that it's that much effort some of my videos yeah I've had to spend longer editing and, and filming and doing all that sort of stuff than others but in the grand scheme of things I don't spend that much time doing YouTube I mean I would love to do like a lot more but obviously it's just I like the computer I use is my family computer so I can't have access to it all the time I'm trying to get a laptop probably gonna get that sorted for when I go to uni if I get my results well, I forget the results that I need to get in, and in September, hopefully, I'll have a laptop by then, a decent one, and I can just use that, and I can, I'll be able to upload probably, I mean, I, I think to upload twice a day at the moment, just with, during my first year of uni, I think that'd be quite difficult, but we'll see how that get, gets on. Maybe I could do one video a day, and then do like, when I'm at uni, maybe a stream once a week, or something like that, on Twitch, or streaming on YouTube, probably Twitch, though, I do prefer to be streaming on, and I mean I pref I've never streamed before but I prefer to watch people streaming on Twitch than I do YouTube so maybe I could do a bit more streaming that sort of thing but with a better laptop out and well a, a, my own actual laptop now I'll obviously be able to do a lot more and spend a lot more time on my videos because a lot of my videos I don't have that much time to spend on them because it's a family computer and it's just a bit of an inconvenience sometimes for my parents. Like they do, un they do understand. They do sort of support me, I suppose. They don't really understand it that much, and I mean, I haven't really explained it in that much detail because they've they've not really mentioned it that much. But if they did ask me about it, obviously I'd tell them. I mean, maybe I just need to talk to them about it a bit more. But you know, it's a bit. It's difficult to talk to the older generation about YouTube because obviously it's quite a new phenomenon and. I mean, people have only, it's starting to start coming out that people are making money off it uh, in the last, what, five or six years? Like, it's not been that long, really. I mean, I didn't even know people made money out of it until about a year year into watching, like, KSI and that, and I find out that he makes money and stuff. And honestly, the money is not the reason why I made a channel. Like, I made a channel so I could try and grow just try and grow myself as a person, grow my confidence, and just get get that more views and more subscribers. Like, if I don't get money out of it at the end of the day, I don't really care, but let's be honest, I, I, I do want my channel to grow, I want to get more subscribers, I want to get more likes, I want to get more views, because that's just how you benefit from it. If you're not getting views and likes and subscribers, then it, it's very downheartening, uh, disheartening, I don't even know if downheartening is a word, but you know, it's very sort of, it does get you down a little bit, but I'm just, I mean, seeing how hard these big YouTubers work, and it's its just like, I know now that they, it's not easy for them, it's not easy for any YouTuber, so they don't deserve to hate just because they're big, because they deserve it really, I mean, there's no, there's no arguing about it, I mean, especially this became apparent after watching KSI's latest video where he sort of vlogs a week of his life. And yeah, yeah, his life seems exciting and fun. He went to he went to a music festival for two days. He was off shooting for another YouTube channel. He was recording some things for an app that he's going to be voicing and doing all these sort of things in his life. 
and also editing and uploading it. It just took him so long to do everything because he spends that much time. He wants to get all of his videos perfect. And to be honest, that's what I'm going to try and do now. I'm going to try and get all my videos as good, like as best quality as they can possibly be. Because I think the only way to grow your channel on YouTube really is just to have hard work and just keep going, keep doing what you love, keep making the videos that you enjoy making. And then maybe get a little bit lucky. A lot of YouTubers do get lucky with when they get discovered by other ones and they sort of get big and they do collaborations and stuff. But I am going to be doing collaborations soon, so that should help me out a lot and ho hopefully help out the YouTuber that I'm going to be collaborating with, the Mr. Dark Phoenix. So you've heard me mention him in a couple of times in my past videos. And you know, he's a really, really cool guy. He's quite a close friend of mine now, I'd like to say. I hope you agree, uh, Marcus. But anyway, you know. That's enough about that really, just YouTubers don't deserve hate because honestly they work so damn hard. And the final bit of this video really is, well it's the bit at the beginning of the title probably, motivation. Now, at times recently I've found it so difficult to motivate myself to, to, to make videos and to just keep going with YouTube, like I've, I've thought about quitting a few times. And it, it, it's just because I see other YouTube channels. Like I watch, I watch a lot of YouTube. I've subscribed to like hundreds of people, and I just see like their channels. And mo or in fact, all the channels that I follow have all got more subscribers than me. And I know I've, I'm quite a small channel. I mean, I don't claim to be the greatest YouTuber in the world. Obviously not. But I, I, th I think my videos are quite good but I'm trying to be as modest as possible but I just see those other channels and I just see the fact that they've got so many more subscribers than me and I just get down just like thinking well I've been doing it for two years I've only got 62 subscribers what's the point I, you know I think I think a lot, a lot and you probably won't hear this from a lot of the bigger youtubers like they don't really talk about how they feel personally and how YouTube makes them feel but I suppose it's probably like this for a lot of YouTubers. I mean, unless you have PewDiePie, who's got the most subscribers in the world, you're probably going to get downhearted and disheartened by other channels that have more subscribers than you, more views than you, more likes than you. Just You just feel a bit like, oh, what, what's the point of me doing this? And then I thought to myself, you know what? There's a lot of people on YouTube now. I mean, I'll, personally, I wish I could have been born like, what, like five years earlier. So I could lit, like literally just, I could have start, obviously started YouTube. Because a lot of these big YouTubers, they started YouTube before they knew that money was in there. And yes, money is always is it's always at the back of my mind when I'm doing YouTube. Like I'm thinking, oh, if I could get this going, I could get get some money for myself. And you know, I could I could turn it into a job. Like I'd, my dream, one of my dreams would, I'd just love to be a YouTuber because it's just, it's so much fun. I love making videos and I'd love to do that for a job. But the main reason that I'm doing this is just I enjoy it and I'm just trying to grow my channel, trying to make an impact, not necessarily thinking about money. Most of the time, yeah, money's in the back of my mind, but it's not the main thing. And the way I kind of have started motivating myself, it's just I'm trying to focus more on my channel specifically. Like, yes, I'll watch other channels and I'll enjoy their content, but I'm not going to be... I'm just not going to be focusing on their subscriber number because it's just a number really. Yes, it tells you how many, it dictates how many views you're going to get really. But a lot of the time I get more views than I have subscribers. Or well, sometimes I get less views than I have subscribers. So subscribers don't necessarily always matter. Like obviously I love everyone that subscribed to my channel. Like honestly, thank you all for doing that. But I just need to focus on just making videos and enjoying the videos and maybe my time will come, maybe I'll get a lot of a lot more support and maybe my channel will start boosting. I mean if you've been watching my channel for a while you've known that I've always wanted to just turn this channel into pretty much full on gaming. I will always do vlogging, don't get me wrong, because I absolutely love vlogging. But it is sometimes it's a little bit like, oh well, Mm, I'm not too sure what I really want to do with the channel, but gaming is sort of, I definitely want to go in that direction. It's just, it's hard to get all the hardware and all the stuff that I need for it. I mean, when I get my new laptop, that will help me massively because obviously it'd be easier for me to sort of 
create videos and edit videos and also if I get my PS4 which I'm currently saving up for so I'm, when I go to university I'll get Black, Black Pit 1 up after a couple of weeks or months or something and I'll start fully like gaming and obviously I'll do vlogging as well and I'll do some streaming and all that sort of stuff but I just think that the PS4 is sort of like the beacon for my channel to just start hammering down and start going because I think that I'll really, really enjoy doing that sort of thing, and I can put m even more passion into it. Like, I, honestly, I'm so passionate about vlogging, but gaming, I'm even more passionate about. It's just kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I've, the way I've sort of move, started to motivate myself is I've tried to stop focusing on me. I'm just trying. I mean, I've tried to start focusing more on me and less about other people. I was watching a YouTube video yesterday by a YouTuber called Chips Flicker and he's, he's not that well known but he is a very good YouTuber, I'll leave a link down in the description, go check him out because he really is awesome, he does lots of gaming, lots of sort of real life talk videos, that sort of thing and he said a little thing that really sort of made a lot of sense to me and it was the way you can enjoy being successful, when, the moment you can enjoy being successful is when you stop comparing yourself to others or something along that lines. It just really made me think, you know, that's actually a really good way to think about things. Just focus on yourself. Try and be happy with what you're doing. Forget about other people. Like I may look watch videos of KSI, PewDiePie, Matt HD Gamer Bateson or Smosh. You know, all these big YouTubers. I just need to stop thinking I want to be them. I want to be there. I'm trying to be them. Because honestly I'm never going to be them. I, the chances are I'll never get to the, the heights of KSI or PewDiePie or even, you know, someone a bit lower down, you know, not, not no disrespect to anyone, but, you know, like someone like Zwayback or JMX for someone like that, they're not really small, like they've got a really good channel, I love those YouTubers to pieces, but they're not at KSI and PewDiePie and Smosh, they're not at that level. I'm not saying that PewDiePie and Smosh and KSI are better than them because I value all YouTubers it's just they've been probably been doing it longer and they've just got a bit more lucky and you know I just want to say to anyone that feels downhearted and disheartened and just sad in general about something and they're just finding and they just find themselves thinking what's the point like even if you just struggle with like if being motivated in life in general and you feeling a bit depressed or you've actually got like full-on depression then honestly my advice to you would be find something that you love doing find something that makes you want to just strive and to better yourself and that sort of thing just find something like that cling to it and focus on what you're doing don't worry about what anyone else is doing because at the end of the day it's your life you're not you're not someone else so just that's the way I see it Anyway guys, that does bring the video to a close. Sorry it's quite long. I'm not even entirely sure how long it is because basically, <clears throat> excuse me, my camera, like, it's got like a flip thing on it, like one of those like flip screens. And what ha used to happen is I could flip it upside down and it'd like rotate so I could see what, like what I was actually like filming so I could see my face and stuff. But then, so I don't know, I have no idea what happens if anyone knows in the comments how to fix this, but essentially, when I flip it now, the video just stays upside down. I can't really see myself that well. I can't really see what's going on. And I can't see the timer because it's like upside down and backwards and stuff. And it's just like, I have no idea what is going on there. So I can't actually see how long the videos are anymore. But I'm sure it's not too long. I did probably want it to be short, but I guess that's just how things go. Anyway, guys, leave a like if you did enjoy. Comment on, you know, what motivates you, what inspires you, if you've experienced hate, you know, if you're a YouTuber, you've experienced hate, or if you, anything, if you're into singing or dancing or sport and you've ever had hate, just let me know about some of your stories, just go home in the comments, tell me whatever, I'm, I'm, I'll always read the comments, I'll always reply to the comments as much as I can, I mean, with a small channel at the moment with like mine, I, I'm, I'll, I'm easily able to reply to all the comments anyway. Subscribe if you enjoy my content in general anyway guys, and I'll see you next time.